choose the needed part and press the button. Milkotronic presents ultrasonic milk analyzer Lactoscan S. It is user-friendly, as this is high accuracy and speed of measurement. This device is making rapid analysis of any type of liquid milk, cream and whey. Simply open the box by cutting the scotch tape. Inside the box you will find two plastic mugs, switching adapter with power cable, RS232 printer interface cable, USB interface cable, cable for connection with car lighter, red and black, spare tool for the pump, CD with software, operation manual. Two bottles of cleaning solutions, alkaline and acidic. And the analyzer itself. These are the two concentrated cleaning solutions, alkaline, lacto daily, and acidic, lacto weekly. Let's return to our device Lactoscan S. It has wide display for indication of analysis results. There are five functional buttons A, Down, Enter, Up, B, USB flash drive, optional, Inlet pipe, Outlet pipe, optional. You may order this unit with inflow pH measurement system, determination acidity of the milk, pH. Optional, you may order this unit with embedded keypad and printer. Rear panel, toggle switch on off, 12 volt input, 12 volt output for the printer, serial interface RS232 for connecting to a computer, USB, optional, pH probe connector, optional. If the analyzer you ordered is with pH option, connect the probe before connecting the analyzer to the electrical network. During transportation, the pH probe is packed separately. To prepare it for work, follow the steps below. Unscrew the fixing nut, turning it counterclockwise. Remove the cap. Carefully put the pH probe, pay attention not to damage the gasket or ring. Put the probe with the gasket and screw it. It is very important to rim the fixing nut tightly. Pay attention that no air enters the system. 
connect the pH fork to the connector. To prepare it for work, do the following. Connect the power cable to the switch and adapter. Plug it in the 12 volts input at the red panel of the analyzer and to the electrical network. Switch it on using the power switch at the rear panel. For a short period, the display shows so-called identity of the analyzer, its model, version and serial number. A sound signal is heard when the analyzer is ready for work. The analyzer can be connected to a voice battery or powered by an accumulator of a car. Connect the analyzer to the PC using the serial port RS232. There are two additional options for connecting which must be ordered separately. USB interface located on the rear panel of the analyzer, used for connecting the analyzer to portable computers where there is no standard interface RS-232. You have to install drivers available on the CD. Bluetooth connected to the rear panel in the RS-232 interface. For this purpose, you have to switch on the Bluetooth on your computer. Find the analyzer and enter the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. After connecting the analyzer to the IBM Type PC, insert the CD with the software. How to start up and collect data using the data collecting program. Insert the CD in the PC. Open it. Press OK. Open Service Pack. Open mail call data. Copy file or SLS to your computer. Switch on the analyzer and hold the button Enter. By using the buttons, go to Settings and press Enter. On menu Net Number, press Enter. By using the buttons, set net number to zero and press enter. Go to exit and press enter. Go to exit and press enter. Open file or SLS. Enter the number of the supplier and liters delivered. For example, 1 is the number of the supplier and 50 is quantity of the milk. Click on the blank tab. Click on S to save the results in an Excel document. The file will be named 10, 19, 13, 15, where 10, 19 is the date, 10 is the month, 19 is the day, 13, 15 is the time, 13 o'clock, 15 minutes. Set COM 3. Press Start. When you finish measuring, press Close. The software will automatically save the file. The analyzer has an embedded print option. The results will be automatically printed when the measurement is finished.
to reprint the results, press button A. USB flash drive. This option allows connecting standard USB flash drive towards the Lactus CAM. It automatically creates total archive of all measurements made with the analyzer. After USB flash drive is connected, Lactus CAM starts writing there the results from each measurement. If you do not need to make an archive, then simply disconnect the flash drive. We recommend this option to be used in combination with options real-time clock and keypad. pH electrodes need to be calibrated on a regular basis. Calibration is an important part of the electrode maintenance. This assures not only that the electrode is behaving properly, but that the system is operating correctly. For this purpose, two sample buffers are used. Low buffer, for example, 4, and high buffer, for example, 7. To do this, switch on the analyzer and hold the button Enter. By using the buttons, go to pH and chrome meter and press Enter. Go to pH calibration and press Enter. Using the analyzer's buttons, enter the exact buffer value. Put the probe in the high buffer. Press the button Set when the reading stops moving. The analyzer automatically takes out the calibration liquid. Place a glass filled with distilled water and press Enter in order to clean the probe from the previously used calibration liquid. After the cleaning, the analyzer is ready to start working with the next calibration liquid. Repeat the procedure with the low buffer. The following message appears on the display which shows that the calibration procedure was completed successfully. The calibrated device is ready for making measurements. The device automatically passes in mode pH measuring. Check the correctness of the calibration by measuring buffer solutions. Switch on the analyzer. Till the analyzer is prepared for work, the message getting ready is on the display. When it is ready, display shows, ready to start. Milk sample must be with temperature at about 25 degrees centigrade. To start measurement, pour the preliminary prepared sample in the sample hold of the analyzer. Put the sample hold in the recess of the analyzer. Print a number of the milk supplier and the literature delivered. Do the following. Press this button on the keypad. Display starts showing. Enter the number of the supplier. By pressing the same button, the display shows liters. Enter the liters and press again the button to confirm the entered data. Press the button Enter and hold it pressed. Display shows. Release button to start menu. Release Enter. Now the possible working modes are displayed. With buttons up and down, Choose the working mode and press Enter. The analyzer sets the milk, makes the measurement and returns the milk in the sample holder.
The first message appearing on the display is sample's temperature. Ignore the first results after switching on the analyzer and when using distilled water. Make second measurement with new portion of the same sample. Results are displayed on three pages. By pressing the buttons up and down, the operator has the possibility to pass from one page result to another. Results remain on the display till a new measurement is started. They are automatically printed and saved on a flash drive. If the analyzer is connected to a computer, it sends the data to the computer. The procedure is the same for UEHT milk measurement. If one of the calibration is cream 45%, take the cream sample, put it in vessel with warm water, after it about 10 minutes, shake it carefully and use it for measurement. Please, pay attention that the analyzer needs cleaning after cream measurement. pH measurement is an option. Its result is displayed on the second page. Here you can see the results of all three. Cow, UHT, cream 4 to 5 pH measurement. Conductivity measurement is an option. If the analyzer is with the embedded function conductivity measurement, its result replaces the lactose results which appear on page 3. This function allows determination some of the falsifications made with milk, as for example added table salt in it, or may be used as a warning for farmers for possible infection of the animals with mastitis. We recommend usage of the chemicals supplied with the analyzer, alkaline and acidic, lactodaily and lactoweekly. They may be ordered together with the analyzer. Preparation of 3% working solution. Take 15 ml concentrated alkaline solution.
added to 500 milliliters water. Clean the syringe with water before sucking acidic concentrate with it. Repeat the same with concentrated acidic solution. Its aim is to prevent drying up and adhesion of different milk components in the milk analyzer's measuring system. Attention! Periodically cleaning, rinsing the analyzer. It is done in the process of routine work of the analyzer. Periodical cleaning frequency. It is easy to understand what is the period on which the rinsing must be done as the analyzer reminds you when it is necessary. 15 minutes after the last measurement of real milk sample. It is done by a sound signal and the following message appears on the display. Time to start cleaning. Put a mug with alkaline working cleaning solution. Press Enter to start the cleaning. There is no need of rinsing with water after the alkaline cleaning. Measurement can be directly started, but do not forget to skip the first measured results after the cleaning. The cleaning procedure may be manually started and performed repeatedly. Fifty-five minutes after switching on the power supply of the analyzer but idle work. A sound signal is heard and the following message appears on the display. Time to start cleaning. For the mug with water. Press Enter to start the rinsing mode. The analyzer makes eight cycles and stops. Inscription cleaned appears on the display. Now the analyzer is again ready for work. Complete cleaning. It is done. After finishing work with the analyzer, at the end of the working day, if it is obvious that the measuring system of the analyzer is contaminated in case of intensive work with it, or after calibration of cream 45%. To do this, raising the milk residues, use water twice. Washing with alkaline working solution three times. We recommend the temperature of the alkaline solution to be at least 40 degrees. If you have no means of heating up the solution, then just run it several times through the analyzer. It will be automatically heated up then.
Rinsing with water. Twice. Then you can continue or stop working with the analyzer. To finish working with the analyzer. Cleaning with an acidic working solution. Twice. We recommend the temperature of the acidic solution to be at least 40 degrees. If you have no means of heating up the solution, then just run it several times through the analyzer. It will be automatically heated up then. Rinsing with water twice. Now the analyzer is washed and it can be switched off. Remove the pH probe and place the fixing nut with the cap after finishing work with the analyzer. The pH probe must be preserved in its packaging box.